As a Welsh citizen, I wanted to play a part in improving public services for local communities. Coming from the private sector with a background in digital transformation, I wanted to share my learnings and experience to guide the centre towards making a positive and impactful investment in digital in Wales. Wales is a forward thinking nation. We have an excellent digital strategy which launched last year and it's been an absolute pleasure to work with an organisation that's driving forward that national strategy. The role of the board is to provide support and constructive challenge to the executive. We are a diverse group of leaders from across the public, private and third sectors in Wales. So we offer up a range of different perspectives and experiences to inform the centre's strategic direction and decision making. We meet monthly. Uh, for one month, we will discuss typical board agenda items like finance, risk and operations. And in the following month, we ideate and we discuss strategy. And personally, I really enjoy these sessions because we get to hear from different CDPS stakeholders and bounce new ideas around. And I would say that the top agenda item in recent months has been the landscape review. The Landscape Review is an incredibly exciting project for Wales that's being led by the Centre for Digital Public Services. The Centre has already undertaken a thorough piece of research to identify the top digital transformation priorities for Wales, and so those are the projects that will have the biggest impact on Welsh citizens. As Chair of CDPS, I feel that our biggest achievement, at least during my tenure, has been making a fantastic joint CEO appointment. Harriet and Myra absolutely epitomise the values of, and the progressive character of the centre. Of course, Harriet and Myra follow on from the amazing Sally Meacham, who was instrumental in setting up the Centre for Digital Public Services in Wales. So I would like to say a huge thank you to Sally for the legacy that she leaves, and of course, for the wonderfully smooth handover to the new joint CEOs. The leadership team at CDPS are shaping a really creative, inclusive and forward-looking organisation. And I really do look forward to witnessing all that they will achieve in progressing the digital strategy for Wales. For me personally, chairing a young arm's length body in Wales has been a really new experience. It's required a lot of effort from the core team and also input from the interim board to establish the governance systems, the policies, the terms of reference and even a cybersecurity plan. And that's been challenging for all involved. But I really do believe that we've created an excellent blueprint for future arm's length bodies to adopt during their startup phase. The biggest challenge that I foresee for the digital public services in the next 12 months is around procurement. So currently, procurement in public services is slow, it's bureaucratic, and it's often not conducive to achieving the best outcomes for the organisation and the community that it serves. So I feel that we have a, an opportunity to revolutionise procurement in Wales using digital technologies and digital ways of working. So this will involve developing connections between the public private sector and actually leveraging the knowledge and skills of our SMEs in Wales to deliver greater value for citizens in a more agile and responsive manner. I'm both excited and encouraged by the alliance that the centre is building with Digital Health and Care Wales. I think that there are significant opportunities to improve and optimise our healthcare system in Wales, upon which as citizens we all rely deeply. So that will be using tech, not digital technologies and agile ways of working. And I think that there will be some really exciting developments to come from this space in the next 12 months. So the first question that we have to ask is why is diver diversity important in digital decision making? And diversity in digital decision making is important because in order for them to work properly, we need to create digital products and services that are reflective of the users that they serve. So CDPS can play several different roles when it comes to increasing diversity in digital decision making. Firstly, starting from within our own organisation, our core team, our contractors, our digital squads in particular, we must have diversity of thought and experience to operate effectively. And to achieve this, we need to pioneer inclusive ways of working, inclusive working practices to reduce barriers to engagement for underrepresented groups. Secondly, when conducting user research, we must take a conscious and concerted effort to engage 
diverse groups of users to ensure that the feedback that we're incorporating into the design of our digital products and services is reflective of the users that they serve. And finally, when we're talking about digital leadership, we have to create opportunities for underrepresented groups to engage in digital decision making, such as through joining the board, but also to show unrepresented groups that those opportunities exist and that they are available to them in particular. So in a sense, you have to be able to see it to be it. And CDPS has a really powerful and important role to play in raising the visibility of digital roles across Wales and ensuring that they are inclusive by design. To the incoming board of CDPS, I would say serve with purpose and with passion. It's been an absolute privilege to serve on the board of CDPS and to work with a team and an organisation that is central to developing and delivering a digital strategy that will ultimately benefit everybody in Wales. So above all, enjoy every moment of it.